Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video on how to be, I guess, a good player, a team player as your classes. And today's class is support. Now, support is not the class that I think provides the most support. I think that actually goes to the medic class. I think that class is definitely the most team player class. But support has a couple tricks up their sleeve that does kind of make them really good. Now, the first thing, of course, is the ammo drop. Now, as a support, I do not like using the little ammo pouch. I like using the big ammo box because when you use the big ammo box, it gives you one of both of your equipment back. So if you need an extra grenade rifle or you need another rocket or anything, I don't know if it works with spawn beacons, another sniper decoy, another bouncing Betty, or you're the support themselves and you need another AT grenade pistol round, which is what I use it for. You drop the box and boom, you got it. You know, it takes a little time to respond, but it's really good and it gives you ammo. It doesn't give you grenades though, which is really good. I'm glad it doesn't give you grenades. So with that ability alone, you can take any of the roles that the other classes can do and fulfill that for them. And what I mean by that is if the medic needs more smoke grenades and they have the smoke grenade rifle, pop them the thing, they get more smoke grenades. If the Assault class needs more explosives, you pop them that, they get more explosives. If the Sniper needs more Bouncing Bettys to Camp Partner, you give them more Bouncing Bettys. And that's a major, major ability that Support gets that I love. I love it about that. And, of course, the other thing that they get is the explosives. Now, I only use the AT Pistol and the AT Mine. I believe Support gets a Bouncing Betty. I'm not too sure about that. But I can tell you... That AT grenade pistol is fun to use. Now, it's a slower fire rate than the other rocket launchers, and it does less damage, but it still does explosive damage. You can still destroy stuff with it. And my personal favorite use for it is actually either just annoying tanks and dropping big... We call them the big box. Dropping the big boxes and refilling it, or I'll shoot at an enemy so it hurts them and throws dirt in their face so that I can get away from them. I love that about the AT grenade pistol. It's awesome. And I just think it's a nice ability that it gets. You can build fortifications faster, which is not too good. Even the, you know, you can build the weapons to the mounted weapons, like the flak and the, there's a map with pack 40s I believe, as well as the Vickers guns, right? I think now they're mounted MG34s. And that's good, but the really good ability is the ability to repair vehicles. That is an amazing ability that that totally just makes support class worth it because you can have a tank that you're spawning on and the tanks from the inside you can't repair to full, full health you have to repair them from the outside and that support class if you do that it repairs the tank so fast and it makes you a good it makes you really a good player to repair the tanks so if you're in a tank battle and you get behind the tank that's on your team and you can't get shot at by the enemy tank then just sit there and repair it. Gives you so many points. The tank stays alive. You end up indirectly, I guess no, more directly so, destroying the enemy tank. It's a win, 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 win. And you get points for it. And then, of course, there's the big guns that shoot a lot of bullets. Now, say what you will about these weapons. I like them. I like the LMGs and the MMGs. And they can have another ability where if you are the machine gunner perk, and you also get the shotguns, which I'll talk about in a little bit. But as the machine gunner perk, makes it so you can suppress enemies and spots them. Pretty useful ability. And those shotguns, those shotguns are some of the most fun weapons to use. The drilling with the rifle bullet, one of the best weapons in the entire game, honestly, in my opinion. Then there's the 12 gauge automatic with the slugs. They just buff the slugs. I love the slugs. Those weapons are so good. Like, if you need a close range player, like, Maybe your medic needs its role fulfilled. Boom, you got shotguns. Maybe your assault guy's focusing on the tank and you need to have someone with a bit longer range. Boom, you got the machine guns. Any of the machine guns, really. It's just overall a class that can fulfill so many roles at once. That's why it's called support. I think the medic, just with health and revives and smoke grenades alone, beats out the support class in terms of support. But I think that 
the overall best combo you can get is a medic and a support. And then pop in an assault and a recon. It's all, it's so good. I love the support class. It's my favorite class to use, specifically because of the shotguns and how crazy good they are. Like, they're fun to use, they're challenging to use, they don't seem cheap, but they also don't seem weak. They're finally balanced very well. And I just like building things fast. So, that's really it for this, guys. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. How do you play support? There's so many different ways to play support that I think everyone has their own play style. Um, that's it. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I will see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or steam it post of whatever I decide to make.